Hey everybody, it's Jeremy from Web Marketing Hero, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily set up a free iGoogle homepage so that you'll end up with a one stop way of taking a look at everything that's going on in your industry, with your business itself, with your competition, and as a bonus, it'll help you find great content to post on your social media sites. So let's take a look at what I want you to end up with. This is one that we created as an example for Li Ning, which is kind of China's Nike. And here you'll see that we have Google Alerts coming in for all these different search terms. We have some Twitter searches coming in. And then we're monitoring a couple of industry-specific blogs as well. So as you can see, this just provides a great way to quickly check in on all the chatter that's happening about your business, about your competition, and about anything else that you want to keep track of. So let's get right to it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to google.com slash IG. And if you're not logged in already, go ahead and log in. And if it's your first time here, you might see a little dialog box here asking you to fill out the preferences for your home page. So go ahead and do that, but we don't really care a whole lot about that for this video's purposes. So once that's done, come over here to the home button and click the little down arrow. And we're going to add a new tab so we can keep all of the information that we're adding organized. Make the tab name whatever you want. You can just call it you know, brand monitoring or alerts or whatever you want. And this box is usually ticked by default and actually untick it because we don't want Google to automatically fill this in for us. We're going to do it. So click OK and it added the tab for us. And just so you know, you can switch between tabs by just clicking that down arrow. But we're on the brand monitoring tab here and it's asking us to look for new stuff. And that's exactly what we want to do. So let's go do it. Now the easiest way to start populating your iGoogle homepage is to use Google Alerts. So just head on over to google.com slash alerts and you'll see this form here. Now what Google Alerts does is it takes your search term and it goes out there and it finds all relevant content about that search term. So we always start with the business's name. So this is a way to monitor anything that's being talked about with your business. Now I'm going to use the example of a winery in the Willamette Valley called Bethel Heights. You can go ahead and filter these results by news, blogs, whatever, but in general, we just like to keep it to everything. Don't worry about the once a day, how often stuff, and go ahead and keep only the best results. Now here's the key. Instead of delivering this alert to my email address, I want to create a feed for it. And as you saw there, when I do, it changes the how often to as it happens, which means as anything happens about the search term Bethel Heights, it will instantly deliver it to my iGoogle page. So that's great, instant. So go ahead and click, click Create Alert, and you'll see that right here, you now have an alert set up. And you want to grab that RSS feed so you can pull it into your iGoogle account. Now don't worry about what an RSS feed is. You really don't need to know that. If you want to, you can go to Wikipedia and learn about it. But basically, you're just going to either click this little orange icon here or right-click it. Let's just go ahead and click it. And then we're going to grab the URL that pops up up here. So let's just copy that, Control c or Command-C, and then come back over to iGoogle. And now we're going to click this Look for New Stuff to Add. And we're going to see this little orange icon again. And we're going to add this feed to our iGoogle. So go ahead and paste it in there with Control v or Command-V if you're on the Mac. And click Add. And it added it successfully. And we can go back to the home page now um, for the brand monitoring. And then you're going to see this is a Google Alert set up for Bethel Heights. Now don't worry if there isn't any information coming in yet. It can sometimes take a couple hours to start populating. But just know that once it does, um, it'll start looking like this, which will start to display the top stories from every search term that you have. So just know that that will happen eventually. So let's go ahead and uh, do one more because things are just a little different when you add the second one. So let's go back here and we're going to just click the back arrow so we can get back here. So let's go ahead and click create a new alert and let's say this time um, you want to search for your competition. This is a great way to keep track of everything that's going on. So let's type in Sokol Blosser because it's another big winery here in the Willamette Valley. And again we're going to click feed, create alert. And we're going to grab this. This time I'm just going to right click it just for fun. Copy the link address and go back to iGoogle. And you'll notice this time we don't have the look for um, the, add new, the, you know, the add new gadget button here. So just know that from here on out you're just going to click this add gadgets link up here. Here we are back on the same page. Click add feed or gadget. 
copy and, or paste that right in there, click add, and there's another feed created for you. So that's the process. At this point, it's just wash, rinse, and repeat. You just go over to Google Alerts, you type in what you want to monitor, you deliver it to your feed, you add it to your iGoogle page, and then you start to fill in this page with all this great stuff about your industry, about your brand, about your competition. Now one final note, you're not limited to using Google Alert feeds. You can pull in any feed from across the internet. So let me give you an example. Here's the New York Times homepage. Scroll down to the bottom and you're going to see that happy little orange icon. Click it and in the New York Times case they have it nicely organized. So say that you want to also keep track of technology for example um, in your Google Alert, or I'm sorry, in your iGoogle page. You just click on it, you choose whatever you want to keep track of, you can right click the link um, and copy link address and then you pull it into iGoogle just like you would any other link, uh, any other feed that you're using. So just so you know that is a really easy way to also keep track of anything else you want um, on the internet that's not specifically a Google Alert. So if you have any questions about this video or about web marketing in general, please feel free to visit us at facebook.com slash webmarketinghero. And while you're there, give us a like so that you don't miss any future videos.